Yo, what is going on, my dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to All The Mod 7. Guys, we have some fun stuff planned for today. We have a Blood Moon Rising, so that's not too fun. But, um, yeah, uh, frame rate seems to be a little bit better here. I took a suggestion from you guys in the comments, uh, specifically from sativa 420 lord and uh they said that uh, manual update manually update jei and journey maps that fixed the lag spikes they were getting so i've done that update on the server update on the client and after it loads in uh it seems to be pretty smooth we're getting some pretty stable fps here um yeah i uh, can't really complain and then um i tried i tried the compacting drawers or the, the compacting stuff let's go up to the base so our bees in here, um, we're having an issue keeping these guys chunk loaded, which is a problem. Like they'll be here and then we come back and then it'll be loaded for a bit, even though I do have it force loaded with FTB um, chunks here, like this is force loaded. It does not, um, it does not. Cause the only things I have chunk loaded currently are this base and that. So like, this is like a three by three area chunk. Um, and then that's just a, a one chunk, but yeah, it does not stay loaded. As you can see, we do not have a whole lot of materials, even though they've been chunk loaded for over three days. Yeah. So unfortunately we're gonna have to go a different way. I think I'm just gonna build like a bee sanctuary either in the nether, um, which isn't a bad idea because then they'd be able to work all the time, uh, or way off in the distance. But I actually might be leaning toward that nether project, um, just like toward the the bottom of the world or something like that, or above, probably above the uh, the bedrock ceiling, putting the bees there. That might not be a bad idea. Keep them in the nether, you know. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and move everything over to our sky base here, all of our storage. Um, but in order to do that, we need to make quite a few 64K drives. And so I have been making a lot of these calculation processors. Um, yeah, that I actually got there right because we need them to make these 64Ks. Uh, and I want to go ahead and make as many 64Ks as possible. And it requires one of these per. Um, so yeah, we need to make a lot of these. We also need quite a bit of redstone too, which is a bummer because our bees don't get loaded. So I might need to make a few redstone seeds and throw them in some garden cloches because on, oh, we're out of levels. But uh, the garden cloches are honestly a fantastic way of automating mystical agriculture seeds. Um, like it's way better than create. It's like not even a competition. So if you guys are leaning toward, like are wondering which one you should do, I would highly recommend the garden cloches because like I have... 20,000, no, sorry, 70,000 of the, the cert, the pure certus quartz over here, and I haven't had to do anything, like, you just set it up with a crafter from RF Tools, and it just makes it for you, we have 77,000 of these, like, I never need to make any more, um, certus crystals again, which is fantastic, and then it's just this, it takes very little power, like, we have over, uh, 152,000 stone, we're up to 19,000 of the calcite. Like, it's it's fantastic. And then, like, we have coal. Like, oh, my gosh. So I'm going to go ahead and set one of these up, or maybe even a couple of these up for redstone, and then we'll be back in a second. Okay, so this is super easy. All we got to go ahead and do is just place these like so. We're going to go ahead and do this as well. We're going to break this off. We're going to pull items out, and then we are going to extend this. And then we're going to extend that. So now these are getting power. We're going to go ahead and throw... I don't know if the better farmland works in this, but I'm not going to stick around and not do it. Uh, finally, the blood moon is setting, but now we have two of these guys going with seeds. Unfortunately, I'm out of redstone, so I can only make two, but now we just need to go ahead and grab a drawer so that we can put those items in. All right, so we're just going to put the drawer... Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to bring it down, maybe. Um, just, uh, well... Nah. We'll just put it up at the top. Ease of access. Less cables. Okay, so as soon as those are grown, the S... Ooh, just kidding. We didn't need a drawer. We need a crafter. Because we need this... I, I was thinking for some reason that redstone would come right out of it, but it doesn't. Only essence does. So, uh, we need to make a crafter from... RF tools, uh, why you no work? Oh, we need two of you. Perfect. 
And bam. Okay, we got our crafter here. Do we have our power cables? Or our pipes? Come on, I clicked it. I'm telling you, this is a good early, like, Tom Simple storage. It's great for early, but there are a couple of things in it that are just kind of inconvenient, like not being able to, like, do things. Anyway. Yeah, those are still growing. Um, not being able to, like, click on it well, I guess. So, it's kind of weird. And what I mean by that is, like, in the little search bar, it's, like, really difficult to hit it, which is odd. Uh, but, yes, we're getting power here. Perfect. We click this. We do red stone essence. Um, uses. Bam. Apply. So, now, once it gets enough, it will poop it out for us. Okay. Wait. Wait a second. There we go. And then zip pipe. Perfect. All right. So now we have redstone automated, which is great. I'm actually going to go ahead and upgrade that. I keep trying to fly. It's not working. But I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that. Uh, how much power we're pulling out of that. And all we need to do is come into our system here. And we hit the pipe. We take one of these guys. I have quite a few of them, if you didn't notice. As soon as we get more reds, then we'll be able to upgrade them to the max tier. But we can actually upgrade this to pull more power out. So now if I look, this should be full. Yep, it's full. Beautiful. So now it can support all of those, no problem. And let's check Let's check this guy, make sure we're not pulling too much power. Nah, we got, we got power forever, which is good. But yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and kind of go AFK here for a bit, and hopefully... We'll get the suit. I might go ahead and start adding more as as red the more redstone we get, uh, so we can just speed up the process. I might go crazy and have like forty five of them. <laughs> okay, guys. So while we wait for the redstone to generate and check it out, uh, can you see it from here? <gasps> Not really. Um. Oh well. Well, I've added more onto it. We have a total of eight redstone seeds being optimized. And the cool thing is with the redstone seeds, if we put them in a garden cloche, they give us two. And we only need eight to make one, like to make 12 redstone. So I have eight total. So that means every time they fully grow, we get 24 redstone. And they grow pretty quick. So that should be fun. But what I want to go ahead and do is I want to upgrade this furnace to a vibranium furnace and let's see how much better it is so let's see coal yeah let's grab let's grab a bunch of coal here we're gonna put that in there we can even make it faster if we put an upgrade in it but i don't really want to well maybe i kind of do what mod is this from iron furnaces let's see okay so we do have a speed upgrade that we need more redstone for. That's fun. I love I love it when I need more redstone. And we have a farm for it. Look at that. We're already up to 72. Amazing. Full stack. And I've only been AF... I've only been, like... I only set that up, like, 10 minutes ago, if that. Okay. So, speed upgrade. Maybe... Maybe we try it. Uh, but what's something we need? Let's test it on some sand. Okay. So this is, it does 16, you know, it's really quick. Let's put a speed upgrade onto it. Oh my gosh. All right, so without a speed upgrade, it it smelts 32 at a time. So if I put a speed upgrade in it, oh my gosh. Look how fast it goes through that, though. I, it, it, you don't need the speed upgrade. Like, it's just going to burn through your fuel. And so that means, that means an unobtainium, one it smelts at 64 oh my gosh guys the amount of smelting i wish we could switch it to power like you, you to utilize power instead oh that'd be so good that would be so good what's a rainbow generator rainbow furnace okay glass netherite furnace okay that's actually kind of easy to make what about these guys oof oh Oh, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and try to make a rainbow furnace. 
Let's see what happens. We're, I mean, we have to wait for the redstone anyway. Might as well be productive. Um, why am I going out here? Well, I need some netherite. That's why. And we also need to trade with the villagers to get some more emeralds. Um, so we have plenty of netherite scrap, as you guys can see. And if we come over here, we're gonna take we're gonna take some of that. We're gonna grab some diamonds because these guys like to trade metals and stuff. So bam, there we go. Bam, there we go. That's how we turn our diamonds into emeralds and our iron into emeralds. Okay. So we got a stack of of emeralds. I think that's enough. I think that might be enough. Um, okay. So we need to make an iron furnace. And if you're wondering why I'm making so many, it's because we need to upgrade each of these guys. Um, gold. Not gold. Gold. Okay. So we got a few pieces of gold we got to get smelted up. Look at that. Two stacks of gold, just like that. Jeez, man. That is knucking futz. <laughs> Did I say a bad word? I'm sorry. What? What? There we go. Okay, so we've had we have all of those upgraded now. Now we do this one and to diamond. Nope, I don't want that one. I want this one. Now we upgrade each of these. All right, and then emeralds. Let's throw those in there. All right, and then from emerald to obsidian. Okay, and then from obsidian to netherite. Do I have magma cream? I think I do. Okay, so I actually need one more netherite uh, furnace. Oh, there's full screen. Get out of there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to netherite, uh, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got the two netherite furnaces that we need on top of these. So we can go ahead and uh, we can do the rainbow plating. Oh, we needed a crystal furnace. I feel dumb. We didn't need to. Oh, 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 no. Well, here we go. Okay, so now we should be able to do this rainbow plating. What are we missing? Oh, I'm missing an iron furnace. That's easy. Okay, so now, here we go. We have this guy. And to make this rainbow core, we have the two, we have an extra furnace, but we need glass. We need all the dyes. Um, is it, okay, so what colors do we need? Let us see. We need red. Red glass. So now if we do this, yep, okay. We need orange glass. Do we have orange dye? We do not. Okay. Let's find a yellow flower. Oh, I fall. Okay, yellow flower. Let's get another one or two. And then we can go blue for corn flowers. You know, green, so we need cactus. We need purple and magenta. Okay. Grab just a couple of red flowers. Okay, I believe we have all of the, f the flowers slash stuff that we need. Um, can make yellow dye. Oh, I didn't realize I had that many yellow flowers. Why did I do that? Why did I go out there? Okay, so yellow glass, we have that. Orange glass, we need to make the orange, like for the door hinge. Oh, I rhymed it. 
like Eminem did. That's crazy. Okay, and then do we have any cactus in here? We do. Let's go ahead and get that smelted. It's done. All right. So then we need green glass and then blue glass and then purple glass and then magenta glass. All right, combine those together and we get a rainbow core. Combine those together and we get a rainbow furnace. Crazy. I don't think I've ever made one of those. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to break we're going to break this middle one. Put this here. Rainbow, uh, it's automated or that. Is that the ultimate furnace? Let's find out. Oh. All right, so full stack. Yeah. Even though it is the rainbow furnace and it looks cool, it is, yeah, it's it's not. The ultimate furnace is the unobtainium, which we are in the process of uh, getting towards. I have a lot of combs here that are being processed up. Let's get the frickin' gold out of here. Jeez, I didn't know that. Wasting our time. And I'm going to put some upgrades in here because we need them. Yo, this dude just showed up. What are you? You're a red merchant. Rope arrow. Uh, blue bomb. Oh. Interesting. Let me go get some emeralds so I can trade with you. Let's get some emeralds. It's kind of fun to talk like this. I don't have enough emeralds. Let me trade with some villagers. Does this offend you that I'm talking like this? Good. Be offended. You're going to die soon anyway. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, man. So, yeah. Um, this is kind of cool. Those trades haven't refreshed yet. Those trades haven't refreshed yet. What about you? What about you? What about... Oh, there's our mending guy. Ooh, Silk Touch. Um, yeah, so I can't get any good enchants on my sword, my unobtainium sword. So I think I'm going to go the villager method and just combine it. So, yeah, we'll be working on that in a, probably a future episode. But, uh, rope. That seems good. Uh, copper lantern seems cool. This, this seems cool. Uh, rope, rope arrows. Mm. Well, these guys would get their act together and let me trade with them again. We could grab coal. I have a bunch over here. Let's do that. Only like 60,000 coal. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to just, as soon as we get the 64Ks up there, I'm just going to throw all the items in it. And then I'm going to set up an importer to go ahead and just kind of bring all those guys, bring all the items in that we need. Did I get, even get anything for that? Oh, I didn't because I wasn't doing it right. Okay, so now we have enough to get a blue bomb and we're going to test it. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Bro, I got your blue bomb. Chill out. Okay. So let's go over here somewhere that's not too important. All right. In this hole down here is where we're going to do this. Hey, there's a guy there. Oh, I looked at him. All right. Skeletor. All right. That was kind of cool. I set the Enderman on fire. This is a cool cave. I've been here before. I missed a lot of important things. Rip those dogs. You know, Enderman, do you want some? You want some of this? Bye. 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 This is a cool looking cave. Let's go back. See how much redstone we got. Is it enough? If we have over 200. I believe it's enough. But like, I guess we haven't been doing a whole lot. So, But I do have a chunk loaded. So I can go AFK for a bit. So that'll be nice. Um, hey. <laughs> we have a perfect 200. Beautiful. All right. Let's give this a shot. Uh, we're going to try to make a couple 64Ks. Uh -huh. I think I have everything I need here. 
Um, yep, calculation boys are in. Okay. I don't have any of my logic processors. Okay, that's an issue. I'm going to go ahead and make up a couple of those. I'll be back. All right, I believe we have everything that we need to make some of these. Unfortunately, we are out of space, which is a little annoying. Um, but let's grab some more redstone. Perfect. Okay. And so now, um, let's look up those 64 K okay, drives. You can 64, 16, 4, and then 1 Ks. Um, yeah. All right, there we go. We have all of our 1Ks made, uses. Um, actually, let's just go up the line. So 4K. And what are we missing? We're missing redstone. Oh, I left it up at the base. Okay, we've got a little bit more here. Probably going to use it all. Yeah. Ah. Ah, we need more redstone. Oh, we didn't wait long enough. Ah. Uh, Okay, so quite a bit of time has passed since our last clip. Um, and actually, we were short on quartz glass, which is okay. Uh, but we do have a lot of redstone now, so we can go ahead and make quite a few of those 64K drives, which I'm happy about. Uh, yeah, we have over 6,000 now, which is beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and craft those up, and we're going to have a fun time. So let's see here. We're at 4Ks. Let's go ahead and throw all the redstone in there that we can. Okay, so we're out of those. Dang, I thought we had more of these. Did we not? What is that? Oh, fluid. Okay. Um, I think I think we need to make some more logic cores because I don't feel like that's enough. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some more of those. Now that we have that... Uh, quite a bit amount of redstone. We can go ahead and make some more. Uh, so let me grab some raw gold and we can go ahead and make those. I'm sorry, guys. I have realized how much I've been saying, let's go ahead and do that or let's go ahead and do this. So if you notice that I'm saying that a lot, I'm totally sorry. Please forgive me. It's a habit I'm in right now. It'll pass. Like I used to say other things uh, that I can't remember off the top of my head because I don't say them anymore, right? So anyway, yeah, I'm going to go... I'm uh, Let me make these. <laughs> okay, so we got quite a few more of the logic processors and even some that I could make more of right now, but we're not going to. So let's make some more 1Ks. And... We are out of redstone... Cool. The two things that we have recently automated, we're out of. So we can come over here, and we can grab a few of these, and we can grab a few of these, and two more of those, and come on back. I'm happy. That's great. Having just materials, I may switch to mystical agriculture, not going to lie. We might just switch. Out of redstone again. Okay, I got to get more. Okay, so we have all of the 1K drives that we need, I believe. And then we're going to go recipe for this. And we're probably going to run out of the calculation processors. I did not think I'd run out of those. Sure did. Ah, I see. But I left all of them up here. And the logic so we have more of those which means we can make more things which is good we can store more things okay we're out of redstone again geez we use so much redstone in these it's four stacks per one stack of normal shenanigans all right but now we turn these redstone boys into the 4ks like so let's put those in there okay 
So are these all 4Ks? They are. We can put these back and hit uses. And then we should be able to find you. Yes, 16Ks. Perfect. All right, so we got 54 of them. And then we do these guys. And we get 1864K drives, which is beautiful. Okay, so we have 1864K drives, which should be a decent amount of storage. Um, it should definitely fill up one of these, which is good. And then should almost fill up this one. We're, we're gonna start. Um, yeah, we're gonna start moving stuff over so that this is our, our hub. Uh, so I need an ender chest. Do I have, where are they? Are they in my backpack? I think they are. Not that one. Not that one. Um, no, they're not. Okay, let's head back to the base. The home base. And then, let's see. Chest. Yes, we have one here. Beautiful. Now, I need to make some acceleration upgrades. Acceleration cards. Can I make any more of these? Ah, one more. How about some use? Okay, so this is good. We need to get back to the sky base, upgrade the input, uh, how fast this gets items into the system, like so. And then is there like a stack upgrade? Am I thinking something else? I think I'm thinking something else. Okay, so that should work. So now, now's the fun part. Now I think if we do an item collector, like this, this is a basic. We can make that and then we upgrade it to the advanced. I believe this allows us to do cool things. So my intention is to set this up right here with this guy here, pulling items in. Right, increased range. We will increase the size of this. And then I fill up my inventory with these things. And let's see if I break this. Yeah, all the items get collected. I think I'm gonna switch to a different pickaxe. I'm gonna switch to my all the modium pickaxe because that's not magnetic and it won't pick up the items. Yeah, there we go. So this is just gonna take me a little bit of time unless I, I won't do that to the server. That would, that would ruin it. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna break all of these and we're gonna see how much of these it can take because it's it's cleaning up quite a bit of them i like it and it's a lot easier than doing it any other way so i'll be here for a minute doing this All right, so that is all, like, other than our drawers, which a lot of these are just kind of one-off items. Um, like, I, I'll go back. I'll come back for these and stuff like that, but not, not right now. Let's go test, or not test, but let's see how many of those 64K drives we filled up. Uh, oh, my Lord, almost all of them. But we do have a lot of space. Like, they're only half full but the item types are filled up which is okay but this one's got more and then we have all of these so like having a set of 12 of these so 120 64k drives per section here so 120 240 per wing we're gonna have four of these yeah we're gonna have plenty of storage nothing to worry about um but now but now we have all of our items here I'm so excited, gosh. Good Lord. Oh, one thing I wanted to go ahead and do is actually, we're gonna take all of the iron out of this guy. 
like this. We're going to mine this dude. That guy just fell all the way to the bottom. Oh, well, it's fine. We're going to steal that one there. Okay, now I do need a block to replace this one. So the B, perfect. Look at that, glass. Okay, so we do have the old Imodium B in here. And what I'm going to do is just do that. So he can't escape. We now have this one. I'm going to steal this chest. Because I feel like we just should do that. That's a good idea. Get all this glass, and then we head back up. Okay, so we're going to do everything but that. Okay. So we put this guy in here. Now we have our 53... Thousand iron, which is great. We have almost half a million iron nuggets, which is pretty cool. But this worked like a dream, guys. I highly recommend Ender Chests plus ME Import Bus with max speed. Bam, it's beautiful. And I think we do something similar. It's going to be a lot more tedious with our items. Uh, but what I'm actually hoping for is that the lag... Like, FPS drop in this area was hopefully from the Tom's storage system and maybe the drawers as well. So I'm hoping that by us getting rid of all of these things, um, that it might reduce some of the lag, which is my hope. Um, I could hope, right? It's cool that these are going right into the system. Okay. So I think I fill up my entire inventory full. Maybe how much? Oh, 262,000. I think I just set up a, yeah. I'm gonna set up a pipe to do all of this for me so I don't have to do it. Uh, let's go up to the sky base, pipe. Hey, come on, I tapped, I, I, I clicked there. Okay. What we get? Oh, what happened? We're lagging out. Oh, frick. Nope, we're good. Okay, so item pipe, and then we're going to take this guy, and we're going to do the manual thing of pumping it right in to our chest, which is okay, uh, but it is going to be a little tedious, so I'm going to be doing this for a while, uh, and so what I'm doing, so you guys know, I'm going to grab this guy real quick, and this guy. And we're going to put that, we're actually, we're just going to put this guy here. And I'm going to set it up so that it takes the items and dumps them in to here. So we do this. It's going to start putting items in like it is. That was weird. But I'm going to put this upgrade on it. And now it's going to be liggity split quick. So if you look here, yep, it's pulling all of those items out. And I just have to do this for all of them, and it will put them into our ME system. So that's great. And so when we process all of this, uh, we'll be able to just switch it over. So I mine that. I mine this. I do this with this. It's a little manual, but it'll, it'll get taken care of. So I'll be back in a little bit. So I found something really helpful out. Um... For one, I need to mine these guys, because if I just set it up to the drawer controller, it'll grab all the items and throw them in. Like, I don't have to automate it. Um, but I am going to go ahead and add some more, maybe to the sides, so that we can get a little bit more speed out of this guy. Um, yeah, and I'll probably grab another one of those upgrades, too. So, yeah, we'll put it on there, and it'll be a split quick, my friend. Okay, so we are 100% done. All of our storage has been moved to the new base, which is really crazy to think about. Like, we are no longer coming here for storage. Um, it's like, we'll definitely have to move some things around, but, like, I'm going to go ahead and just chuck all of these in here. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, all, all those are done. Like, that is... Oh man, we're we're moving out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take this with us. Uh, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna switch back to my other 
Because I know that this is an Aldemodium pickaxe, but for some reason, this guy is just better. Well, maybe not there, but uh, this guy takes... This is next, that's why. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, we're going to take this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. We're going to fill that in. We're going to take this guy. All right, we're going to take all these up. There we go. Uh, <laughs> this is a weird moment. Like, we're, we're out of here. Um, don't worry, I'll come back, furnish this, because, like, this is still a decent, decent place. Like, it looks good. We have, like, trees there. But, yeah, we're, we're done. We have no reason to be back here. All of our stuff is at the sky base now. This is a, uh, kind of a sad moment, not gonna lie. We're saying goodbye to our starter base. And that was the last item. All right, now how full are these guys? Oof. Okay, so this has been kind of filled up. This has been, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is there's a way to export items, like there's the opposite of this. And so what I'm gonna do is these big items that require like have like over 200, I'm gonna go ahead and put these into drawers uh, that have the void upgrade on them. I'm just gonna export right into there and then I'll put them back into the system. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll harvest, harvest one of those, grab them, bring it over here, and then we will, you know, push all the items out of our system to make sure we have nothing left in the system and then we'll put it back and then it will, all the items will be back, but we'll have the system there so that we're, we're not using storage up that we shouldn't be. Like for instance, we don't need, like I'll process all of this, but like we have a lot of end prosperity ore, a lot of nickel, we'll have to, go through the system, make sure we get that all cleared up, craft all these into the proper materials and just refine that. But now we really get to focus on auto crafting, which is something I have been super excited about. It's gonna be down here. We're gonna get rid of the, the compacting drawers and I'm just gonna build a, a faraway place where all of our bees will go. And I might actually limit what bees we have, like maybe just the, all the modium bees. And that might not be the worst idea in the world. Um, and then switch to garden cloches and mystical agriculture and blind them up here. Because I, I do plan on having the mystical agriculture cloche, or sorry, mystical agriculture seeds and garden cloches along the sides here. And then we have like these will be where it is. And then it goes to like kind of like a circular little area over here. And we'll have a farm. But FPS and the lag spike seem to be much better. Maybe because Optifine is more refined or something along those lines. But these guys are full. We'll have to get rid of the or not really get rid of them but upgrade them but yeah we've moved into the new base that's crazy all right dudes and dudettes that is going to wrap up the episode for today thank you all so so much for watching i'm so excited for the series we seem to have cleared up kind of the lag that was really a, a big you know factor in why I, I wasn't really motivated to play just because it was so difficult to play and get videos out but that seems to have past and so i'm super duper excited for this ladies and gentlemen i will see you all in the next video thank you again for watching Bye bye